Happy Friday, everyone. My name is Robert Rizzio. I am pastor of Christ Presbyterian Church here in the Temecula Valley, and we are delighted to announce our plans for resuming in-person worship on Sunday, June 21st. Uh, while we have been so grateful for providentially being able to do online services and, and Zoom meetings, attempting to stay connected as a congregation over the past few months, uh, really nothing has replaced the gathering of God's people on the Lord's Day for worship. Uh, the worship service is, is, is central to our understanding of how the Christian life is lived and experienced. Uh, we gather as a community, not just to get more information in a sermon, but to receive from the Lord together corporately his means of grace. Yes, in the proclamation of the word, but also in receiving his uh, the sacraments. And so uh, our prayer has been that this is a time of fasting, a time of, of wanting, of lacking. And so we are eager to break the fast and, and come together and, and worship again. Uh, speaking on behalf of our entire session, we, we are also really excited to announce a new location where we will be having worship services. Uh, beginning June 21st, we will be meeting at the Professional Golfers Career College located on Inez. Uh, it's a couple of blocks north of Winchester, and so this new location offers far more flexibility and opportunities than Chaparral, which remains closed, and, and who knows, it may never reopen for all we know to outside groups. And so we are excited for the potential held for our church family as things become more and more normal in the future. Um, as for things currently happening around CPC, in our digital life, the, the, the ladies have their final Bible study in Colossians on Monday at 645. And our C.S. Lewis book study picks back up on Tuesday at 7, where we will be reading the, the essay, Is Theology Poetry? Uh, if you've been part of that group, please note that we are skipping a reading in order to discuss this essay, it's Theology Poetry. I look forward to seeing you there. Um, and also, at least for the foreseeable future, every Wednesday morning, I will be on Zoom at 8 a.m. for a time of midweek prayer. Uh, I, I think this may be one of the, the surprising things. One of the great things about this time of isolation is that things like Zoom, I didn't know what Zoom was before the, the, the lockdown, um, despite our cantankerous groans about Zoom, it really does serve an amazing purpose. It's such an easy way to hop on and pray with one another. And so I will be there Wednesdays at 8 a.m. If no one else will be there, I will still be there praying. And so this is an open invitation to, to join me as we pause midweek to seek the Lord with one another. Are, are things in our world uh, crazy? Are they difficult? Sure, but we are reminded uh, that they kind of always are. As, as one writer puts it, um, I only pray when I am in trouble, uh, but I am in trouble all the time, and so I pray all the time. And, and that's certainly something that, that should resonate with all of us. This Sunday, we will be hearing God's word from my dear friend and fellow pastor, Reverend Joel Fitzpatrick. He is also currently the moderator of our presbytery, the South Coast Presbytery. And so tune in to hear from probably the most famous parable, parable of the prodigal son as we are brought to see once again the incredible heart of our heavenly father for poor and lost sinners like you and I. This is a story that just can't get old um, because it's our story seen through the lens of the gospel every day of our lives. Uh, make sure and stay tuned for plenty of upcoming announcements, important announcements on the website, in your emails, on our social media pages. Uh, we are excited about what the Lord has in store for us. Uh, the Lord be with you all, and I will see you Sunday.